for this, Anna? Are you ready for this? It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Hi, everyone. Welcome to my ch -ch -ch channel. So, I'm pretty nervous for today's video because it will be my first video that I am recording on YouTube for you guys. <laughs> well, for anyone in general, whoever decides to watch, and I am very nervous. So, please be patient with me. And basically, wow, why am I talking like this? I'm just like really nervous, you know, to put myself out there and whatnot. Anyways, today I'm going to be doing the get to know me tag. I am recording this video on my phone because my actual camera died so this is what i'm doing Whew. okay so let's just begin you know let's just have a conversation mainly you listening to me or comment down below let's have a conversation like i want to know you do you want to know me i don't know we could be friends so what is your name or what is my name my name is ayana Vianney romero cardenas it's what is your ethnicity what languages do you speak i I'm Mexican. I was born here in the United States. My mother was also born here, but my dad was born in Mexico. I speak English, obviously, Spanish, and I'm currently learning ASL. I really want to become fluent in ASL because it's another language and another way to communicate with um, a variety of people who know ASL. Um, it especially is working for me for what I want to pursue in the future. When is your birthday? I was born November 9th, 1997, so I am a Scorpio. How, oops, my necklace. Just cut that good. Okay. How tall are you? I am five feet and two and a half inches. I like to say I'm five three, just cause it's easier. Do I have any favorite colors? Um, I don't necessarily have a favorite color, but I do really like teal and turquoise. I feel like they match really well with the things, but I also really like a lot of fuchsia, maroons, pinks, um, beige, kind of neutral vibes, you know. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have two younger siblings. I have a sister and I have a brother. Um, I am the oldest of three. I have a brother who is turning 20 and a sister who is turning 16 this year and it's actually pretty silly because my brother and i we share the same birthday month so his birthday is on the 8th and mine's on the 9th so we're a day apart three years and like a day apart i think it is i don't know i suck at math do i have any hobbies i like to do arts and crafts i've actually done two baby showers and one with the help of my best friend and um i just really enjoy you know decorating things and honestly i would probably make it a career if i wasn't going for what i'm going for now i'm more of like the hands-off kind of girl i really like um a lot of you know projects and stuff that involve me having to do my hands which is why i like to do makeup i've tried ceramics and sculpture which was super fun and i mean i wouldn't mind continuing that and making it like a day-to-day -day hobby i just really think that hands-on things for me are super peaceful and relaxing and is a kind of like it's kind of like a therapy for me another hobby that i would like to make it consistent it would be going to the gym i have been slacking which is why i put on a pun i put on a bunch of pounds recently that are like irking to me but you know if you're not dedicated to something it is what it is you know what i mean like you're gonna get some chubbiness you're gonna get chubbiness here or there so i've kind of just accepted that for now also i did get in a car accident so i'm just kind of you know recovering from that and um as soon as i feel you know at least 90 percent better i will begin going to the gym again um i also appreciate a good hike so if you live in oregon and you know any good hikes like let me know i um, haven't really been to that many places that I hope but you know it is what it is like if you have some good recommendations maybe I can go <laughs> maybe I'll you know find somebody to go with in general <laughs> that's funny right the next thing that I like to do is I like to listen to music but listening to music for me is more like I enjoy listening to music when I am driving mainly because 
I can listen to it when I'm studying and doing homework and such, but then I get so distracted from singing that I have to turn it down and get in all focus mode. Um, while I'm organizing and cleaning, I do tend to listen to music, but I really enjoy good podcasts. So if you also have any podcast recommendations, feel free to link them, link them down below or just kind of let me know who it is so that I can, you know, um, start listening to some more podcasts. Podcast. The last thing I like to do is traveling. There's a lot of places that I really would like to travel to, like Hawaii, Thailand, Australia, Spain, and possibly like more exotic places. Um, I've been to Mexico, but other than that, I haven't really been out of the three states of Washington, Oregon, and California. Um, so, I really would like to travel some more. Okay, next question. Do you have pet peeves? Hmm, I like to think that I don't have many pet peeves just because I'm more like a go with the flow type of person and like you do you as long as it's not affecting me then I'm okay I'm like 100% like good but once I started like thinking about what pet peeves I have I kind of have maybe like three pet peeves the first one is I don't like to be rushed so if you're we're going somewhere tell me in advance so i can get ready otherwise i'm gonna look for on that but then at the same time i don't care if i like it if i look for on that like it is what it is if i want to just take a shower not put on makeup and let my hair do what it has to do and let my face do what it wants to do like it is what it is at the same time i don't really care what people have to say it is what it is if i want to go somewhere with my hair messy i will go somewhere with my hair messy i don't care the next thing is how do i exp it's such a hard thing to explain unless we're talking about it if that makes sense i don't know so like let's say let's say okay someone lets me borrow four dollars and 99 cents for something right there's these people who want their four dollars and 99 cents right away or not even that they don't let weeks go by they will ask you for those four dollars and 99 cents and don't get me wrong i will give you your freaking four dollars and 99 cents but when it's the way around and i give use or i pay for something that's four dollars and 99 cents i don't care you don't have to pay me back it's four dollars and 99 cents not only that if you pay me back, you don't have to pay me back right away. Like, I'm not tripping. We're friends here. Like, let's say this week I buy you a coffee and you're like, oh, I'm going to pay you back. Like, no, that's fine. You, you got me next time. Like, that's really good. Or, you know, there's those people that are like, I'm going to go to Starbucks. Do you want something? And I'm like, yes, can I get this? And they're like, okay, give me your card. And I'm just like, I literally, really, like, really, we're going to go there? We're going to go there? <sighs> like it's fine it doesn't bother me as much but you know like people are gonna do what people are gonna do and if i want to be that per you know if i in my heart is like i'm gonna buy you a coffee this week you got me next week or you know what don't pay for coffee because you got me last week so i'm gonna get you this week i'm that kind of you know a person um i hope you you kind of understand what i'm trying to say not like in a good way you know what i mean i don't know and not in a greedy way or anything either more like i don't know i don't know what kind of way just tell me you understand or you don't i don't know last okay, thing that kind of irks me to Ayana. my money no no estas se fue a la escuela oh, se fue a la escuela <laughs> they're super funny okay the last big thing that irks me that i cannot get over that <sighs> i don't like it when people eat or drink from my food without asking without my permission i don't mind sharing i am the most generous person i will share with anybody but if you do not ask me or if i do not personally know you and how you are like hygiene wise i will not share with you and this mainly comes with drinking my drink i am the biggest germaphobe in the world so if you drink my drink without asking me and i like i'm you may brush your teeth and whatever but if i don't Ayana. see 
sombrero? No, no tengo. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. So, if you might, you know, be, you might brush your teeth in the morning, whatever it is. If, my necklace is falling back down. Ugh, tell me how I didn't notice this. I'm just gonna take it off. It's like broken, so I'm just like trying to cutely wear it, but I give up. Okay, so the next thing is, I mean, on that same t subject. Que salito de bien, no? Nos mandan por correo la... something. Okay. Anyways, I have super good hygiene, but if I personally don't know you like that, I'm gonna be like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? You can just have my drink. Um, it doesn't really matter who you are, to be honest, because I'm extremely sensitive and um, about my things and not extremely sensitive to like the max, but like if you pick up my food without asking, I will give it to you like and I will go order something else. It'd be, ugh. That scared me and if you drink my drink without permission i will also give it to you and buy myself something else i it's it's not something i i don't mind sharing like i'm gonna say this again i will share with whoever and whatever but i'm a germaphobe because i have to be um let's say um there's which is this is the most cases even when i go drinking with my friends like i need to be really careful on who i'm sharing with because i just a little tiny bacteria that you might have from anything like let's say you went to the bathroom you wash your hands everything but you still open the door and you um you know touched your face and then you drink out of my drink i will instantly get a cold store like which is irritating so i take a lot of care of myself and trying to keep per like do whatever it is to prevent me from getting those i've always gotten in them ever since i was like a newborn uh since i was a couple months you know and so it's something to me that i try to avoid because i don't like the feeling it hurts me really bad the next question did you graduate and are you going to college or have plans on going to college I did graduate high school in 2016 and straight after that I went into a, um, a two-year community college. I graduated there with my associate's degree in general studies and then now I'm currently going to Portland State University and next year in 2021 I will be getting my speech and hearing degree. Woo! If, you know, um, if everything works out, I'll be getting my speech and hearing degree. My life goals involved me becoming a speech language pathologist, and I would like to special in pediatrics. I love children. I've been a preschool teacher for about four years, and, you know, I love everything about it, but I really want to become a speech therapist. And okay, next question. Are you single or taken? I am single. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Sorry, babe, if you watch this. I am taken. I have a boyfriend and we have been together for about five years. And right now we currently live together as well. So where I'm going to be recording and filming videos, it's going to be like in a small section from our room because everything else is covered in Star Wars crap. Nothing against Star Wars, but when it's all over your room, you get pretty irked about it, which... Hopefully soon we can move out to where he has his own room of like Star Wars and I have my own room of like beauty. So, um, yeah, we can both agree on that for sure. Okay, next question. Do you have any bad habits? <sighs> yes, I have one bad habit. One. And it's that I bite my nails. And I only do that when I have anxiety or when I can't stop overthinking things and that happens a lot but um I try to keep busy so that I don't have to think about the other things and um I also get acrylics my hands look a little chubby right now um I also get acrylics so that you know if I'm chewing on something it's just these but lately I haven't really been chewing on my nails in general I've just you know haven't been stressed out or I haven't had anxiety so um, I'm doing really good 
Next question. Do you have a weakness? Yes. I love sweets. I love dark chocolate. I love sour candy. I like Mexican candy. I like chocolate cake. What else? I think that's mainly it. I love sweets. Oh, chips. I love spicy chips. Um, I'm not really a fan of hot Cheetos to be honest. I like Takis or I like Flamas. Those are really good. Oh, and Dynamites. Those are my top three. Next question. What are you currently watching? Okay, so on Netflix, I've watched The Fosters, um, Jane the Virgin, Gossip Girl, and um, I have to say that I rewatch those at least once a year just for fun. Um, what I'm currently watching on Netflix is Love is Blind. I know the season finale is like this week or something. Um, but yeah, the what I watch on Hulu, I watch Grey's Anatomy, which I'm still waiting for the new episodes to come out. Um, I watch The Mass Singer kind of when I'm bored and have nothing else to watch. American Idol also when I'm bored or when nothing's out um the bachelor this is us good trouble the bull type those are really fun for me i enjoy watching a lot of drama and a lot of romance um movies and shows the last thing i'm watching right now is on disney plus and it is the diary of a future president uh, i think i have like two more questions and i'm done maybe one question okay why youtube and why now so i have been wanting to do youtube for the longest time um i've just never started one until now because i've always been just so nervous of what people are gonna say not necessarily that i care what they say but i just know that people talk and people are very judgmental and i don't like that feeling of people talking bad about me or just talking not necessarily bad but just talking about me in general you know or like discouraging what i truly want to do um but of course you know that is something that is expected so i've just kind of accepted that and i'm like hell yeah i'm gonna do a youtube channel and i don't really care like i'm just trying to keep this these positive vibes you know what i'm saying um but it's just really sad you know that people take the time of their day to make others feel bad about themselves um just so that they can get some sort of satisfaction i don't know i know coming into this people may not always like what i post or they might not like how i view things or i feel about things but honestly, I feel like YouTube is going to be good for me because I've always wanted to do it. And I truly believe that I have a fun personality and that, you know, I want to show it with other people and I kind of want to be chill. What do I plan to do on my channel? So, <sighs> I have a shopping addiction. So one of my things that I plan to do is doing a lot of shopping hauls. I just have to make sure that, you know, my... I just have to organize myself well to show you guys what I purchased because I purchased a lot of crap that I use instantly and creating this channel like I want to save it to film for you guys and to show you guys you know my purchases and stuff. I shop a lot of clothing, a lot of you know home decor, well room decor, uh, makeup and just like random crap that I find you know. Um, in addition to this, I really want to do makeup tutorials, maybe some challenges, maybe some pranks on my boyfriend. I don't know. Maybe some pranks on other people. I don't know. Some vlogs. Um, if you have any suggestions, like feel free to comment down below. Anything you'd like to see, I'll be open to that. That wraps up all of my questions. If you watched all of this video and sat through it, or at least kind of, you know, clicked on my video in general, I appreciate you so much. Please leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel, ring that notification bell so that you're notified every time I post a new video.